I have some good news. Uh, I've, I've been able to merge uh, my technology with the uh, PCB motor, uh, which was pioneered by Carl Bugia. So earlier I made a laser prism scanner, uh, which can be used to create a PCB uh, board. Uh, a problem with this module was that it is uh, quite hard to assemble. Uh, and, and also, um, yeah, so, so it consists of a lot of components and has a lot of wires. At the other hand, uh, uh, on the internet, I uh, found examples of people uh, making spinning things with the PCB motors. Uh, so uh, a motor in a printed circuit board. And, um, and now I will show you a demonstration where I combine these two technologies. So here you see a, a prism, uh, which can rotate. And that is on top of a uh, printed circuit board with these coils printed in there. Uh, we'll spin up the prism to 2000 RPM. And then using a reflection on this mirror, which you see here, and did that get reflected onto the photodiode, which is there, uh, it will be able to synchronize itself. So um, what you will see is that, uh, because it, it is quite hard to see uh, the actual synchronization, but what you will see is that the... Um, uh, the laser, you'll see that the prism uh, is, is sort of static due to a stroboscopic effect. So you'll see that the prism is sort of being kept in position. And also you'll see that here the line, this edge here is not uniformly blue. And that indicates that there is a static pattern generated by, uh, uh, by this thing, even while, while it's rotate, rotating. And, and that, that indicates that the, uh, the prism... Yeah, that 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 the laser scanner is working and can actually produce a, a pattern. So, uh, so we'll do that demonstration, um, which is nice. Demonstration and run this code. Okay, and so first the prism spins up. And now it goes into a uh, PI controller and will stabilize around 2000 RPM. And now the laser uh, will try to synchronize itself with the, uh, with the photodiode. And you see that it is working because the, um, you see that the prism is actually sort of being kept in a certain position. Uh, and that is because the illumination is periodic. So, so we know that we, we have it synchronized at the moment. Um, so, and as such, you have a, a working laser scanner. So you, you could use that to, uh, to again, expose these uh, PCB substrates. Uh, unfortunately, the prism is um, not fixed to the board. So if I will uh, rotate it, it will simply drop off. Uh, so so as, as is, it cannot be, uh, be used. Uh, so my, my effort now will focus on, on gluing this prism to, uh, to a base. Uh, so, so that will be the next steps, but it's, it's looking very good. And, uh, Carl, I think I, I, I made here the next, next achievement in, the, in PCB motor uh, design. Uh, so, uh, that's good.